Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove some content from a picture using Adobe Photoshop. We'll use a combination of the healing tool and the stamp tool to complete this work. So if I open up this folder, I just want to go to this particular website and we'll download this image. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description so you can also download the same image or you can use a different one if you like, but probably worth following the tutorial with this image and then you'll learn how to do this and you can um, maybe use a different image next time. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop and we just drag and drop the picture into Photoshop. So we've got the image in here and the first thing I'll do is click on the healing tool here. So this tool here I'm going to click on and I've set the brush size to around set around 70 should be good somewhere around 70 and then I'll hold down the alt key and we'll zoom in using the mouse wheel. So I want to get rid of this text first so what we'll do is um, we'll just use the heel tool and just draw over the, the shape of the text. We're just going to draw over it like this. You can do this in parts as well. And that will just basically remove this text from the t-shirt. So what the software is doing is it's sampling pixels around what you're drawing. And it will use that to fill in what you've drawn over. Right? That's pretty much what it's doing. I'm sure it's a bit more technical than that, but as I understand, that's how this particular tool is working. So it's looking at the pixels around from what you're drawing and using those to fill in uh, what you're drawing over. So we'll continue to just draw over this quickly. Normally I take a little bit more time on this, but I'm going to make this tutorial nice and easy and quick. So we'll do this quite quickly. And then uh, we'll work on removing something else a little bit more complex in this, uh, this image as well. So this is quite easy to remove. But we'll have a go at maybe removing the bracelet off the arm as well. There's like a bracelet on the arm. So let's try and do that as well. So all of that's done. If we zoom out, you can see that's pretty much gone right from the picture. And we'll do a little comparison afterwards. So let's zoom into here and sometimes it's worth trying to do this off into segments. Uh, remember it's going to be sampling from both sides, right? So when you get towards something like hair, somewhere there's like hair and it's overlapping, normally I would use um, something like the stamp tool. So I'm going to show you the stamp tool in a moment or the clone tool. We'll use that separately. Um, to get rid of stuff where it's quite close to hair and other objects. So we'll come back to that and look at that in a moment. But let's um, try and remove this bracelet. To do that, we need to first use the um, clone tool, right? So here we can see the clone stamp tool. So we'll click on that and we'll make the brush a little bit bigger, maybe about 80, so around that sort of size. And we're going to hold down the Alt key so we hold down the Alt key first on the keyboard and then left click where we want to copy some of this skin. So normally we'll copy it just from below or just above. So let's, I reckon we'll probably be better off copying it from just below here. So hold down the Alt key then left click with the mouse. And now we can use that to sample in the content here. And now we can draw over the, um, this bracelet. And it's almost using like the skin as a sample of what um, content to use with this particular brush. So normally I do it like this, and normally I'd take a bit more time doing this to be fair. But you can see quite quickly um, we can get rid of we can tidy this up a little bit. So around this edge here, we have to resample, right? And we want to make this brush a little bit smaller as well. So let's make it a bit smaller, set it to around 40, and then we'll zoom in here. And I want to sample up here and move my way downwards, right? So I'll <clears throat> hold down the Alt key and click around here, and then I'll use that to fill in this part here. Like this. And we can obviously spend a bit more time um, 
tidying this up now with the arm part here um, let's just try and get a bit closer in here I will sample down here so quite a low down around here so I'll hold down the alt key and then left click and then I'm going to use that to draw this sort of uh, this part of the arm back in right here and obviously you can spend a lot more time um, using this particular tool and tidy it up and try and get the colors to match up quite nicely but I think um, that isn't going to be too bad and like this just zoom out and have a look so that's looking pretty good we can tidy up there a little bit but quite far out you're not really going to notice right something like this sort of zoom so when you're getting very very close you're going to notice maybe some slight artifacts on the side here so you can spend a bit more time using the clone tool and the uh, healing tool to fix that but it looks pretty good and we want to use the clone tool now to sample um, some of this t-shirt so let's sample around here and we'll draw inwards this way and you can do this bit by bit there's no sort of rush way to do this takes a bit of effort but we should get some better results right and then you'll see it kind of repeating over here so what we might do is take our heel tool and then just go over this slightly just to um, get rid of that re repetition in there right not too much repetition in there so we'll take the clone tool we'll click down here and we'll just draw over this bit here There's quite a few different ways to do this in Photoshop. I'm kind of showing you a quick, um, kind of a quick way to do this, rather than spending a lot of time on it. Um, but there's quite a few different ways to do this. So I'll show you some other tutorials later uh, of how we can um, do this as well using some other techniques. Let's zoom out and have a look. That's not too bad. You can't really see much of it now. There's a little bit in here, so maybe we'll use the um, clone tool again. It's the stamp tool. Let's just clone something around here, and we can get rid of that little bit of a. Uh, needs to be a bit darker, really, in here. So let's use a bit. Say around here. I think that looks a bit dodgy. So. That's going to be better. Yeah, that looks right. So all we've got to do is get rid of this part of the bracelet, right? Um, this is a little bit more tricky. So what we'll do first is use the clone tool. So let's select the clone tool and we'll click up around here somewhere. In fact, we'll click down here somewhere around here. Let's say around here. And then we can use that as a reference point to draw some of this arm back in and then we'll clone around here so hold down the alt key click here and we can use that to draw this t-shirt back in so we're using the combination of a few different tools here um, and then we need to tidy this up a little bit afterwards You can see the repetition like here. We don't really want that, right? So let's use our hill tool. Uh, where is it gone? Here it is. We need to make that a bit smaller. Let's undo that. It's not too bad, but we need to let's zoom out and check it right. So, from a distance, you're not really going to notice that, but if you get quite close in, you'll see it. So, let's use the um, clone tool again. We'll click on the slightly around somewhere around here, out on the outside of the arm. We'll hold down the alt key, click here. We can just draw some of this, um, get rid of some of this here. Click up here. Let's 
see, I don't think that's too bad actually. So that's not looking too bad. Of course, we can spend a lot more time on this and tidy up the arm. And but from this sort of resolution or this sort of distance, you wouldn't really notice anything's been done to that arm or the t-shirt. That's what the objective was to show you how to use those particular tools. Let's go to File Export and we'll export it as a little PNG file. Let's just save that as a PNG file. And we can minimize Photoshop. So we should see the PNG file appearing here. We'll open up the JPEG. Let's put that on this side. And we'll open up this PNG file and put it on this side. And then you can kind of compare them side by side. And I think we've done a pretty good job. We haven't spent a huge amount of time on it. Um, could have spent a lot more time, but you can see how powerful Photoshop can be when it comes to editing images like that. So not only can you remove things, but you can use that to also add things as well, right? Use Photoshop to add things into an image as well. But in this case, we just wanted to remove the text off the t-shirt. You can then go and take another logo and put that on the t-shirt if you wanted to, and then to remove this bracelet from the arm. And I think we've done pretty well. If we zoom in, it looks pretty good. It looks quite clear. I think uh, everything came out well. We could have removed this ring as well if we wanted to using the same technique. So that's how you go about removing um, content from an image using Adobe Photoshop CC. So let's close this down. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.